Hey guys, welcome back to another Adrian Graphics and Marketing tutorial. Today, I wanted to do another tutorial on how to remove the background for a photo. This is something that is commonly asked, and so something I wanted to help you with, and there's multiple ways to skin the cat. So I wanted to show you guys this little technique and tool that you may not have even known about within Photoshop that's become more popular, uh, and I wanted to just show you how to use it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, and in order for me to show you guys how the limits work, I wanted to show you the different features you have in there. So let's go to the background eraser. There's discontinuous on limits, and there's contiguous, and there's fine edges. Let me just give you a quick breakdown of how those work. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this bigger. All right, now you can see when I click into the red and I drag into here, you can see here it stops right in here in the contiguous, right? Same thing here, and as soon as I see how it goes into there, as soon as I get close to it, it starts printing or it starts erasing into there. Okay, that's a problem. Now, if I go to discontinuous, or do I go to contiguous, and I click the same thing, I can go all the way in here. Now, as long as I don't actually have that little middle cursor there touch the red, it's gonna completely stay out of there. So I can erase all this, but watch. As soon as I touch this cursor into the red, boom, then it shows up. So that's the difference between contiguous versus discontinuous and then fine edges is very similar as well as contiguous but you can see here when you cross into here it's trying to find the edges and then once i actually hit this boom it shows up so these two are very very similar but this is really important for you to know and then the second thing that i wanted you to really know let me go ahead and grab my magic wand tool there we go i'll just go to quick selection tool maybe no we'll go to the magic wand so we'll grab a magic wand tool and you can see here my tolerance right so inside of here if i click tolerance of let's just say 50 it's going to pull this much of it it's only going to select the pixels of the tolerance of 50 now if i adjust this down let's just say five it's going to pick only five colors if i pick zero it's only going to pick a single color so you can see here it's only picking one single color so very very little if i pick one i might get a little strip or something a little bit more and then if i pick a hundred you're going to see here it's gonna grab a lot more of the color. So this is the tolerance for the amount of colors that it's going to select. So now that you have this, this should make the rest of your job a whole lot easier. All right, so I have a photo that I picked out here. This is actually my mom and I at one of my wife's events. So my wife does cool events and uh, we got this photo of us together. I took this actually with my camera. So now what I wanna do is I wanna be able to take this photo here and remove myself and my mom from it away from all the distractions of the background. I could either put it on another background that's similar to this, or I could just cut these guys out. But what I need to do first is remove this image of her and I together out of here. Now this can be challenging with just the direct selection tool or the lasso tool or some of the other tools that you have, but Photoshop has this neat tool here over on the left on the toolbar. I have my background eraser tool, and if I click and hold this down, you can see it pops up and there's actually the background eraser tool. Now, if you look in here inside of these little icons, you'll see the ones that have little triangles in the corner. That means they have multiple options and variations for you to actually try. So clicking that down, I got the background eraser tool. Now, what I need to do is blow this image up so I can see it a little bit better. You can see my goofy face. All right. And the hardest part is what I'm gonna start with is my mom. Now I'm gonna scale this thing down. I'm gonna hit the arrow because of her hair and how kind of she's got these little strands of hair, pulling out the background in here can be really challenging. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with this one first. So the tool that I'm gonna to wanna to use and just to kind of walk you guys through this quickly is these are the sampling tools. This is the first thing that you really should know and need to know is your sampling tools are up here. This right here is continuous sampling. So just to give you a quick example, if I click here, it's gonna to continue to pull out everything that has the black in it. It's gonna to continue to sample. Right, that's not what I want. If I go over here, this is gonna be my sample one. So if I pull out black, now anytime I click into here, and it's still affecting it, but not as much, you can see here all the black, all the dark black is coming out. Now I can do the same thing here, go back right now. And let's just pull out this orange. So I'm gonna click on the orange right here. You can see where my, my cursor is in the middle. If I click that, it's gonna remove mostly the, all the orange from here. Anything that has that orange color in it, it's gonna get rid of it. Right, but the problem is you can see it's destroying the rest of this because of the settings that I have. So I need to change this contiguous. Now watch what happens in the same thing here. It's still doing it, but not as bad. So what I would need to do if I wanna actually adjust this is I need to adjust my tolerance. Tolerance is another important piece to this. And I'm gonna show you guys in one of my examples here in just a minute, but I'm gonna lower this tolerance down to like a 10. I'm gonna click here. 
and it's gonna start pulling it out much slower. You can see here, I just sample it over and over and over again to get that out at 10. Now, if I go to 100, you're gonna see it does the opposite. Let me pull this up, put this back to 100. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. See, it took too much of it. So you wanna find that lowest point. That is one of the most important pieces in here is you wanna find the lowest point inside of here, the lowest possible point. So I'm gonna try to find maybe a 40, and so it's not pulling out as much. And I'll probably should start by making this smaller. So here we go, I'm gonna make that smaller. And see, it didn't really ruin much of the background. See, it's starting to there. If I gotta go down a little bit more, I can do 20, right? I can make this a little smaller. I can pull this out, hit sample, click on this and sample that out. See, now I can pull out that orange. Now, obviously we're gonna be doing something a little bit more complicated with the hair, but let's go ahead and give this a shot and see how it looks. All right, so I'm gonna go around this hair. I have the tolerance set to about 20. I'm gonna go ahead and sample this area back here and I'm just gonna start pulling this out. You can see right around her hair. Okay, so I need to click again, let go and click again. Doing the same thing. Everything that's green is gonna start getting pulled out. Now, it's going really, really slow, and for the sake of time, I don't have time to kind of go this slow on it, so I'm gonna go back. I'm actually gonna increase the tolerance back up to about 40. We're gonna stick with that right now. I'm gonna click here, and then I'm gonna do this. You can see it's gonna take out more stuff. It may get a little choppy, but this is what I would call speeding up the process here. See, I clicked and unclicked, and now it's getting rid of all this green here. That's the job of it, is I'm gonna click here, I'm gonna get rid of this green. See, every time I let go, I'm not letting go right now, I'm just holding down my mouse. I'm gonna click here again, and it's gonna keep trying to remove that green. Make this even smaller, click here on this green, and keep trying to take this green out. Now, obviously, I gotta be careful about how I do this, but I just wanna get a basic all the way around her hair, just so we can kind of fix that part first. I'm gonna click here, we're gonna take this out. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way around her hair. There we go. Click that there. Getting closer. Okay, that's pretty good there. Click this. I can get rid of some of this pink color that's in the background. Click that there. Same thing. Every time I click on a new spot, it's gonna source a new color. It's gonna pick the color in the background. So this color right here, I'm pulling this out. Now this process can take a little bit longer than just using your lasso tool. But overall, when you're dealing with hair, you're not gonna have to cut out as much of the hair. So that's really, really important. A little bit longer of a process, but it's gonna look really great when this is all done. Okay, so that's most of our hair. Now, what this is called, when you're doing it actually on your original layer, and I kind of made a mistake here, I should have done this before. I'm gonna go ahead and paste this in here. So I got the original one. So what you'll look at here is I have destructive. So I'm actually destroying this original image, and then I have this pasted one in here, and I wanna make the same one that's non-destructive. So before I cut all this out, I wanna show you how to do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click over here and hit Alt, or option, and you see here, it's actually gonna select all this stuff around her. I need some more, I need to do some more work, so I'm gonna hit sh uh, Command or Control D and deselect that, and I'm gonna keep working on this one for just a bit longer. Thank you. 
All right, so I'm just filling all this in now, coming down to the last few pieces. I'm gonna get this all filled in with black and then I can adjust and just switch back and forth by hitting X on my keyboard. There we go. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill all this in. What I'll do is zoom out, get most of this done. I'll just make this a lot bigger, make this larger here, just fill this all in. All right, look at that. Filling this up. This took a long time, but with the hair, it's really, really, really important that we get it right. Because chopping off half their hair would look really terrible inside that image, so. So we're actually not reducing or eliminating. Let me just delete this layer. Boom, well, look at that. Delete layer one. We can delete this mask. Now we have just this one layer with the mask in it. You can see how clean this looks. And if we wanna go back and adjust it, if we wanna make some adjustments around my wrist or anything in here and clean it up even more, we can. You can see here, there's still a little bit of room for improvement up here. Uh, but I can do that just by clicking here whoops, and actually going back to my background eraser, clicking back over here and just making that slight adjustment right there. There we go. Background eraser is pretty incredible. So this is a great tool. If you haven't used this before, you should definitely be using it for your stuff. As you can see here, we got a nice clean cut background around her. Can't even tell. Now this area right quick, this is just going to show you a little bonus little tip here is if you wanted to get rid of this, what you could do is just kind of grab this, your lasso tool, highlight this section here, and then grab this. Because it's a strap for her purse, right? I've got in the shot. I want to take that out, so I'm just going to go in here. I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to right click. I'm going to hit Content Aware Fill. Hit OK. Oh, didn't quite do what I wanted it to do. Let's try it again. Fill. Content Aware. I can just do the same thing in here. Just get rid of this piece if I want to. No one's gonna really notice it because it's so small, but I'm gonna do the same thing and fill content aware. One more time, pick this up. There we go, right click, fill, one more. Looks like we gotta do one last time here. There we go, and fill. Boom, that looks pretty darn good. There we go, there's the background. So now if I want to, I can create a new layer and I can change the background. So if I like that green foresty background, I can go to here, go to Google, forest background, All right? Just, just to show you a quick example. I'm not licensing these photos, so keep that in mind. I'm just gonna grab one of these right here, right click on it, copy it. There we go, I can stick this back here. Can see boom can barely even tell that that was photoshopped out all right so there you go this is the background eraser tool in adobe photoshop how you can make your photos look awesome and cutting out the the background behind hair which is really hard to do so if this video was helpful please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and hit the bell so you can get updates on all of our other content because we make a lot of mentorship and business training content to help you level up your business. So thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. I'm Adrian Boysell, and as always, keep looking up.